Hello, my name is Sebastian, and I'll be chatting with you about Unleash Architecture. So to begin with, we have this nice diagram. It shows all of our different pieces that I'm going to talk about in more detail. So up here at the top, you have the server-side SDKs, which interact directly with the end users through your applications. Over here on the right, you have the Unleash API, which holds all of the feature toggle configurations and talks to the server-side SDKs. Down here at the bottom, you have the client-side SDKs that interact with your end users and with the Unleash proxy. And the Unleash proxy acts similarly to a server-side SDK, where it syncs with the uh, Unleash API to fetch those feature toggles. And the Unleash API is set up through the Unleash admin UI or through those admin API tokens as well. So I'm going to go into all of these sections in more detail now. So server-side SDK, they sync the toggle configuration in the background and evaluate those toggle configurations for the end user locally in memory. This means that no data ever leaves that SDK, so the client data only sits within your own server-side SDKs. It also means that it scales with your applications as your applications scale up, so will the SDKs and everything will just be evaluated locally, so you don't have to worry about scaling something else on top of that. And it's also resilient against any kind of disruptions for the Unleash API. Because it syncs those toggle configurations and it holds it in memory, even if the Unleash API is unavailable, your server-side SDKs are going to be able to evaluate those feature toggles uh, and evaluate them for those end users. You can also specify exactly what projects and environments the server-side SDKs get the toggle configurations for through the tokens that they have. And since only changes are downloaded to the server-side SDKs, that means that you reduce the amount of network traffic and load that happens between them, and it keeps everything very small and very fast. The Unleash proxy acts very similarly to a server-side SDK. It's basically the node SDK wrapped up with an API wrapper, and it sits between the client SDKs and the Unleash API. And since it acts just like a server-side SDK, it syncs the toggle configurations, and evaluates them in memory. That means, again, no user data ever leaves the proxy. Not, none of it comes back to the Unleash instance. Uh, it scales with your application, so it's built to be scaled horizontally, and it's resilient against downtimes in the same way that server-side SDKs are as well. This is also why we recommend to self-host the proxy, as you're able to control that privacy and security of your client data, and it also means that you can uh, improve the performance by scaling it up with your applications, which we would un be unable to do as we don't know when you need to scale up. The front-end SDKs, uh, these interact directly with the proxy and the end user, and they only fetch the true feature toggles from the proxy, which means that network traffic and load is very small, which is important for people perhaps on mobile applications. You don't want to send them a huge amount of feature toggles all at once. and it just is sort of a, like a light wrapper that fetches that from the proxy. The proxy handles all of the evaluation and storing of the feature toggles. And finally, the Unleash Admin UI and the Unleash API. Both are available as SaaS and self-hosted offerings. The Unleash Admin UI is where you can go and configure all of those feature toggles, environments, projects, users, and so on. This is where you set up everything that will then be evaluated by the SDKs and the proxy. And all of these are also available as API routes. Unleash is built API first, which means that anything that you can do in the UI, you can do through API requests, which means you can set it up to run from the command line. You can set it up to run uh, based off of other automated systems. Uh, other things can call out and change these feature toggle configurations. What's also important is that the server-side SDK and the proxy only connect to the Unleash API through read-only tokens, which means they have no permissions to make any changes. But the, you also have the ability to create admin tokens, which are able to make these changes for you so that you can very clearly have that definition and some more security around your applications. So thanks for your time. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to our Slack community or check out our documentation.